improving in angle measures. So if you're going to try and make any statement and make people believe you, you need to be able to prove it. So you're going to need to know a couple, learn a couple more theorems today so that you might be able to prove um, your statements. So here's a couple more for you. The first one is called alternate interior angles theorem. This theorem says that if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, notice I have two parallel lines here and I have a transversal that is intersecting them, then alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate in that it's on, uh, two angles on either side of the line and they are interior on the inside of the parallel lines alternate angles are congruent. So this means that angle 4 has to be congruent to angle 6. Check it out. Angle 4 is congruent to angle 6. Likewise, angle 5 and angle 3 are both alternate interior angles. This makes them congruent as well. Same side interior angles theorem. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then same side interior angles are supplementary. Without all the words, if L is parallel to M and we have a transversal, then angle 4 plus angle 5 is going to equal 180 degrees. Angle 4 plus angle 5 is going to be 180 degrees. Likewise, angle 3 plus angle 6 is also going to be 180 degrees. All right, now let's actually get to proving those. So, we're the first of all, if we're given L is parallel to M, our job is going to be to prove that angle 4 is congruent to angle 6. So, I'm going to make the first statement. First of all, L is parallel to M. How do I know that? Because they told me. They gave that to me. Then I'm going to say that angle 2 is congruent to angle 6. How do I know that? Because of corresponding angles postulate. The next statement I can make is that angle 4 is congruent to angle 2. I know that because of vertical angles theorem. Finally, I can say that angle 4 is congruent to angle 6 because of the transitive property of congruence. Let's prove this and let's prove this statement. We're going to try to prove that angle 1 and angle 8 are supplementary. So we're given that A is parallel to B. So let's get that down here. A is parallel to B. The way that we know that is that it was given. We also know that angle 1 is congruent to angle 5. We know that because of corresponding angles postulate. Corresponding angles must be congruent. We know that the measure of angle 1, then, must equal the measure of angle 5. Congruent angles have the same measures. And we know that angle 5 and angle 8 are supplementary. Angles that form a linear pair are supplementary. 
and the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 5 equals 180 degrees. The definition of supplementary angles. The measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 8 are equals 180 degrees. The substitution property. There it is. 1, angle 1, and angle 8 are supplementary angles. The definition of supplementary angles. Okay, so you learned two new theorems today. You would learned alternate interior angles theorem, and you learned same side interior angles theorem. You have some work to do with this today. I, you can do it. Go get it.